All right, guys, do you see what this is? For the first time, I opened the YouTube analytics, and I discovered that this past week, after reading Warcraft 3 aloud in hexadecimal, someone unsubscribed for me. Also, after Redditor plays Alpha, Wave of Memory, something, something, whatever that is, people are unsubscribing from the Shorka on YouTube at a rate of about one per week. And for that reason, we need to make amazing content. So what we're going to do is we're going to make amazing content. And in order to do that, uh, obviously what we need to do is uh, show you how to just make something amazing. So this, this is where something amazing happens, right here in my model editor software. So we're just going to go to this footman, and we're going to delete his sword and, uh, and these little duber dads associated with the sword. And we're going to replace all of that with something really awesome. Probably like... Um, I mean, I'm thinking like the, uh, what do you guys think? What does the footman carry around? How about like this big, whatever this is. Yeah, we're going to put that on there. He's going to have one of these in his hand. Oh, that's the wrong footman, isn't it? Wait, yeah, this footman, sorry. We're going to put one of these in his hand uh, just because, you know, that's that's what you use to really defeat your opponent. Right? You're going to put one of those in his hand. All right, let's do that uh, in his left hand, right, right? Right? Left hand. Uh, that's going to be the one called right hand because Blizzard are crazy. All right, here we go. Now we have Cannon Man. Cannon Man, Cannon Man does whatever he can. So what we want to have happen here is we want you to learn something out of this video. So obviously, in order for you to learn something, we're going to give this Cannon Man... Um, ooh, that was fun. Uh, we're going to give this Cannon Man some decay animations. So let's definitely do that. So in order to give him decay animations... Um, or what am I saying? Dissipate. We're going to give him dissipate animations. So we're going to go back to the cannon man. We're going to paste hero glow on him. Now he's a hero, right? Now I'm going to go to animation mode. And what we want to do is like duplicate, uh, basically duplicate the death animation. But make dissipate out of it. It's going to look about the same, except, you know, so here's his death animation, right? He like falls on the ground. And what we're going to do is we're going to toggle on all the nodes, right? All the, all the nodes. And we're going to copy the very end of this animation. And then we're going to go to Dissipate. And we're going to want to copy the whole thing. Although, actually, here's the issue. I think copy... Forget if it only copies translation, because I'm in a translation thing. We'll see about that. We will just see about that. All right, let's go to Dissipate here. So left and right arrow key changes my position in this time slider. So I can just hit right, 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 right with delete a whole bunch of times. Basically, effectively delete the contents of this animation and then paste at the beginning uh, being dead. So now the footman can dissipate, right? That over the course of this animation, uh, if we unselect all the nodes and we just get that root node of the footman and unselect everything below it, uh, we should be able to make sure... First, we'll press this set keyframe button at the start. So we're sure it has a keyframe starting out uh, for translation. And then we'll just make him float away into the air because he's a footman and he's dissipating. So we have that. Um, this automatically sets the keyframe as soon as you drag like that. Uh, what I am left wondering, of course, is about the time length of this animation. So for that, you can actually use uh, change animation speeds. And we can go to dissipate and say that we want it to be, uh, I don't know, what, like eight seconds? Should be pretty good. So basically, he has uh, death, and then he has dissipate, where he goes whoop, up into the air and floats away. It's actually, I think, a little slow now. So I'm going to change the animation speed on this. Instead of 8 seconds, let's put it back to 5.5. That should be pretty good. So now I have a dissipating footman. What are we going to call this guy? Cannon Man, right? Let's get Cannon Man in a map. So here I'm going to import Cannon Man into this map. Cannon Man, Cannon Man, there we go, Cannon Man. All right, great. Now we have Cannon Man. Um, now we're going to have Paladin. Paladin is going to be the basis of the Cannon Man unit. Here you go, Cannon Man. Yeah. I'm really interested in what's going on with this cannon in his hand. Uh, but... Yeah, you know what? It doesn't matter what's going on with this cannon in his hand, really. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. There you go. Cannon Man. What a great hero. And he has a uh, dissipate animation where he floats away. 
So let's try just defeating him in game. See if his dissipate animation will play the way we expect it to. I don't know. Well, let's find out. We'll get everybody and his brother. Have everybody and his brother from all my other videos all attack the cannon man. Balador the Bright. And we're going to see if Balador plays his dissipate animation that he just made. Come on, Balador. Dissipate. Our hero has fallen. Oh, he did dissipate, but he had the wrong sounds. Hey, I'm, my goal here is to educate you guys. You want to know why he has the wrong sounds? This actually might be really difficult to fix because I don't have a good graphical interface for it yet. So he has this sound X defu, right? Death footman sound that plays when he dies. But we can't just edit its points in time because it's currently playing in both death and dissipate and that's really not good and it's really not what we want so if you would really like to uh, if you want to take control of your own life and make this happen before I upgrade my software to have a button for it uh, here's how you do it so we're gonna go to it's not really the folder I wanted um, we're gonna go to Warcraft models we're gonna go to Cannon Man right here we're gonna edit him and with Cannon Man basically what you want to do uh, now is we go to defu right footman death and delete the second one right delete the dissipate portion of that We're gonna do the same thing on human blood small zero right here HBS zero. We're gonna do the same thing on human blood small one And we're gonna do the same thing on human blood probably footman zero whatever that is So we get rid of this blood and this other stuff And then what we do want is we want the sound that plays when you think about a paladin when You think about one of these other characters floating away into the air you know there's that sound. Everybody knows that sound, right? Where it's like, Whoo, and everybody knows what that sounds like, right? So what we got to do is bring in that sound. So we have sound death paladin, and we have the sound, I think K is usually attack, so like, you know, attack paladin. But DDSH, I think, is uh, death dissipate sound human, probably. So let's import this sound. And then to choose when it plays, right, we need to align the animation. So we'll say to align the palette and dissipate to our cannon man's dissipate. And I think that would do it. Uh, but it's a little bit curious, you know, that we want to sort of make sure that, that, will, uh, that this is going to do what we expect. So let's go ahead and click finish. And actually, I'm thinking maybe he should go higher in the air in this dissipate animation too. So let's, let's go back to that dissipate animation. Uh, we'll go back to where he goes higher in the air and just make him go just a little bit further because he's a footman he's a little small we want to make sure he goes far so there we go we've got that now we have cannon man 2 let's put cannon man 2 in the map and i just want to see if cannon man 2 plays that classic dissipate sound that you would expect um just so we can see if it happens you know because i think that's what we want to have happen really so let's go oh, okay uh cannon man 2 didn't save as as mdx we need to make sure this drop down is in mdx mode Great, because Cannon Man 2 MDL is not going to do us any good. Uh, great, so there's Cannon Man 2. Here's a Paladin. Uh, we're going to make him Cannon Man 2. So now, let's see how that looks in-game. Let's start it up. Let's find out. You guys ready for this? Do you see I hope so? you are. We're going to learn how to make a good dissipate animation. Ride or die! At your call. It shall be done. Our hero has fallen. Interesting. Very interesting. It played the sound we want, but all the deletes that I did in the MDL file were, I think, lost because I forgot to reopen it. That that's that's consistent with my understanding. Uh, so yeah, basically what happened is this file was not. I didn't do a file open on that to get the uh, to get the result we wanted. Which is just a just a classic blunder on my part, right? Uh, so basically, for that, we would just want to import uh, from workspace from Cannon Man to into Cannon Man, uh, leaving behind everything except the dissipate animation, for which uh, we're gonna leave behind everything except the dissipate sound which we will bring in. And also, while we're at it, we can actually uh, bring in the translation on Burnt Root to make sure it goes into the air high enough. So we could try this for Cannon Man 3. Uh, this, this will probably be our final run here, but uh, should work, should give us a really nice dissipate animation. Uh, hopefully, unless I made another classic wonder like that. Uh, but yeah, let's find out.
Cannon Man 3. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got, guys. Uh, of course, I made I, I made a classic blunder, actually. Um, here we go. You can crash the game if you need. Uh, classic blunder was I didn't change the model used in the map to actually be Cannon Man 3 for us to test. Great. Okay. Let's find out if those sounds worked. It should actually be gone now. The other one, I just forgot to use my work, basically, right? So let's find out. Alright, get him! Get Balador, guys! Get him! Everybody's a hero today. Our hero has fallen. Yeah, see, there you go. He's got a good-looking dissipate, and it has the sound. The classic dissipate sound, right? Which you really want him to have. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, don't forget to uh, comment and like and subscribe because those are all things that you should definitely do. That are, it's not subliminal advertising at all. That's just what you need to do, you know. Because apparently the analytic lords told me that everyone's unsubscribing from my content because reading Warcraft aloud in hexadecimal is not good enough. So yeah, um, definitely do that or don't. I don't make any money off these videos because that'd be ridiculous. That I'm just doing it for fun. I would still do it if I had zero viewers. That's that's the great part. That's I'm, I'm messing around. All right, guys. Uh, yeah. So you know, uh, give all the likes so you get more videos. But that's about it. Have a good one.